Uh, I'm pretty sure it's all just random crap they found. You'd say that, but then what about the organized armies? They got to the resources faster enough to produce unique shit. Is it made of steel or very flexible rubber? Steel. Okay, we're live now, by the way. Hi, I'm Antonio Inoki, and my friend, the Prince of the Iron Frist here. Yeah, I know. You, nah, you blew it. We're moving on. Welcome to the first room of the new year, everybody. We're back in the saddle. We're well rested. We're ready to go. It's me, Eric, as always, and Aid is here as well, taking the helm once again for more Fist of the North Star. I'm not going to say that title again. You just call it Ken. Laissez vraiment. <laughs> Wait, fuck. <laughs> what the French one go? Ken. Ken de la survivor. <laughs> or something like that. I know he's like Ken the Warrior in Italian. <laughs> All right, I think we can just get going now, yeah? All right. I don't want you drinking water. It's not true, it's ramen. Anyway, let's go. Now, you remember where we last left off, right? Uh, we just caught up to Shin, and he did... Oh, uh, should I say spoilers? No, this comic's been out for decades now. Y'all should have been paying attention. There's a part one to this. What the fuck? All right, and it says... Hey, it worked! Uh, we just fought Shin. The guy saw our girlfriend, and we found out our girlfriend has been dead for three days. Uh-oh. Yeah, we were late. New game or continue? Uh, continue? I swear to God, if you didn't choose continue. God damn it! Thank you. Hey, you can skip when you replay the levels. What? No, we can, no exit out. We gotta continue. Yeah, I know. Hang on, I made a mistake. Okay. Oh, come on. Reset. Come on. Oh, that wasn't the reset button. Oh, no! I locked myself out! Please tell me you're joking. I've got to... Uh-oh. Okay, stop joking. Uh, this is no joke. What the fuck Danger did you do? Time. Danger time, boys. We've got to maneuver around. Stop taking your piss out of me and fucking play the game. I'm not. And calm your tone, motherfucker. Now then, let's speed this up. I can already tell Prince this one's gonna shoot. <laughs> you like hearing the PlayStation boot up sound? Yeah. This setup. <laughs> What does it sound like when you speed up the hooked on Oken theme like this? <laughs> God, that sounded horrible. Alright, so. Oh! Lore shit. Mr. Hart was the one who goes he debu. I'm pretty sure we already went over that when we fought him. No, yeah, 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 yeah. It wasn't, it wasn't, uh, it wasn't Zed originally. You were correct, Prince. I was horribly wrong. Please tell me you chose continue. Okay, yeah, yes, we were here. Just in case, you want to, uh, save that. Yeah. So, after that horrible ordeal of losing his girlfriend, uh, Ken uh, just wanders around still being a savior to the people, quote-unquote. So, uh, let's see, what else would, would we like to talk about? Things that, uh, I guess this is just a good time to go over corrections we made, any errors we said. Prince, you were right about certain things being kept in the anime, like the Hidebu, but other things I can't remember. I guess I'd have to go back and watch it. Yeah, like I keep telling you to go back and find stuff for a fucking highlight reel. 
This isn't, uh, this isn't focusing on my errors, goddammit. I mean, this ain't about that. Uh, uh, let's see. Oh, found out that Mr. Hart, Kenshiro has a line that's been changed since the original manga. Where, when he talks to Mr. Hart, where he says things like, uh, pigs belong in the, in the slaughterhouse. Uh, and he, apparently that had to be changed for very silly reasons. So Why? Get uh, I'm told from, uh, when I looked it up on the, on the wiki, which I might, don't, I'm gonna take this with a grain of salt. Salt. They did not want to offend butchers. <laughs> so, Fuck them. That might not be true. I'm gonna try and find out more stuff about the production of this. Um, from what I can tell from other stuff. Uh, that reminds me of how they changed uh, the hands in Odd World when they released it in Japan, because they thought the four finger look was like. Reminiscent of people who've lost their fingers to the Yakuza or fishing. Damn, that's fucking crazy. Ah. <laughs> uh, oh, uh. Cowardice okay. lot. Uh, oh, so. Fucking. Uh, so it get changed around to sometimes of being other things like you just call them fat or something. I that's not as nice. Fun. I wish I remembered the actual Japanese line for it. Fuck. Well, this is a. Uh, this arc focuses on a little boy who. Wants uh, Ken to just, just help him uh, cross. No, no, he, he needs him for some muscle so he can find. Oh, because his town has a well. Yeah, that's the guy. That's the guy. That's the mean man. Yeah. yeah, yeah. All right, now let me get back. All right, so this little kid lives in a village where there is water, but it's but the well is obstructed, and they need Ken to go in and fucking basically do some construction work, and uh, and and you know. Bring water back to the village. You know what that's and making perfect. me think of, real quick? Yeah? The one episode of Crisis Young. Okay. Just. That's gonna be hitting me hard. Okay. Alright, so, so he was doing construction. No, no, no. This is the village that Bat comes from. Oh, so he's buddies with that good boy right there? Yeah, kinda. So his whole thing is that, like, he didn't have a family, so she took him in. She's a kind lady. So she dies in the original manga, and I think in the anime too, I can't remember. Again, we're not spoiling anything. Y'all had your time to catch up. Yeah, I think everyone pretty much knows like the basic footnotes of Fist of North Star. So, she dies because the little kid is trying to like, get the wa He does something stupid on his own, uh, and inadvertently gets Bat's mom killed. Uh, and then Ken goes to the village. No, Ken go. Then Ken beats up the vil the be uh, beats up the bad guy there, the guy with the dynamite, and then he brings water back to the village after he punches the fucking well. God, look but at the fucking Noki chin. But they change it up. I think this either omits that or it just implies that this has already happened in the PS1 game because Ken just fucking goes there, punches the fucking well, and then it, we're good. And the kid, the, like, no one has to get fucking mercilessly brutalized by bandits because Ken's there and he also beats the shit out. I always appreciated the like the, the fact that um, sometimes when Ken freed a town from bandits uh, he would have to go back because the bandits would just wait for him to come back to leave and then come back in certain instances. I can't remember if that's consistent through everything, and I might just be having my memory fucked up, but I do remember people, like, planning shit around, like, waiting for Kenshiro to leave so they can get away with some heinous shit. Because, you know, they can't stop him normally. Yeah. Fucking bullets can't stop this man. We'll get to that when we get to the main man. So this is an this is an interesting thing to bring up, which is hair color. I don't think this woman had black. I don't think this woman had gray hair in the original manga. I think she had black hair, and I'm not really sure why they changed so many different outfits, hair colors, and skin colors for so many different characters across the uh, across the different like adaptations and like forms of media for the series. But I, what is your person? What are some of your personal favorite color schemes for certain characters? I uh... Ken should always have brown hair. I think it stands out more than the black. Okay. Uh, everything else, uh, I think uh, Ralph should be tan with the white hair. Uh, what else? What other changes are there? 
I like the white hair. I like the white shirt and uh, pla black outfit from manga, but I'm also okay with the red shirt and blue uh, outfit. Yeah, the red with the denim. Mm-hmm. With mighty cute new jeans. Yeah, so he's just like, hey, cool. Glad we could. Glad I could help. And she's like, yay! So she doesn't have to die. So I appreciate them fixing that, cause like, I forget why the kid leaves, but it's something really fucking stupid. It's like, come on, you have Ken with you. Why would you endanger yourself like that, needlessly? And this just kind of fixes that a little bit. So, anyways. Now that there's water, uh, Dynamite Boy's like, all right, cool, we're going in. I can't believe he's in this game. I mean, he's kind of important uh, for this arc, for Chibat. He kills his mom. He's responsible for killing his mama. Yeah, I didn't expect them to do that when I first watched it as a kid. I didn't think they would give him that backstory. It's like, oh, hey, where did you come from, Bat? And he's like, oh, okay. I like how it's not even really that far away from where we from where they found him, too. <laughs> yeah, I was just doing a run a run into the other village. Child, he can only, he can only run so far. Oh, shit, dude. Do you remember the really fucking cool car Bat had in the Toei anime? Yeah, fucking Hot Wheels. I don't remember if he had it in, in the fucking... I don't remember if he had it in the manga. I'm sure he did. But, like, that was the coolest fucking thing about Pat. The fact that he could drive us a cool car like that. I have no idea where it came from. I mean, but he gets his hands on it at the end of the first episode. That shit's always rad. I love that shit with all my heart. Jojo in chat says, Can't you have the black licorice hair? Fucking I like nice. how he looks at the skating here, but it is... It is kind of weird when you see other characters next to him. I like how that move at the end uh, ends with the spin kick to protect you from being punished ever so slightly if you time it the wrong way. Get back, get back, get, oh, okay. I time that right. So I'm not quite sure how well I can time it, you know, because of the lag. But if you hit someone at just the right time, as we have established in the previous part, you get to, uh, you get to do the, you get to do the Fist of North Star, uh, head explode on people. Uh, and that also gives you health back, which is a viable strategy if you want to do that. Come on, Wait, come on. lag? Oh, fuck, is the stream lagging? No, no, Prince, we're playing some mine, remember? No, Rich said it in chat, and now it's going to tick me off. I just wanted to get it, fuck. Oh, he's dead. Stick a fork in him. Yo, check this dude out with the helmet! Whoa, look at that black guy. He's, it, he looks like uh, the one fat guy from Otoko Juku. I was gonna say. Oh, he. Uh, he was saying something in relation to what you said. Uh, Obi is just freaked out. Sorry about that. I really hope I don't have to start building a new computer soon. Me too, buddy. That shit sucks. Hey, hit me out of my fucking multi kick. I always liked that there was a cool kicking version of this move that he just does in the air. Yeah, just a quick. When my computer was just lagging, right, uh, freaking out right there. Did the stream go crazy? Someone in chat tell me. Oh wait, shit. Uh, I forgot to bring up the stream chat. Ah, I'll find it uh, during the cutscene. I'll do that later. I love how actually, as we found that out uh, earlier in the stream, that when you replay the game, you can skip the cutscenes, which I feel like that should have been up. That should have been mandatory from the start. God damn it. Hmm. Well, it wants you to experience the story again. I guess that's so you could do repeat playthroughs, which I really like, actually. Okay, cool. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go pop up the stream and go get the, the stream chat so I can look at it myself. Oh, oh no, they got his mom! 
Wait, that's his mom? I thought it was his grandma or something. No, no, that's his uh, foster mother. Ah. Uh. He didn't remember that everyone's parent, everybody's daddy and mommy dead. <laughs> no one has their real dad anymore. <laughs> Wait, is she calling him? Ba is he calling her Baba? Yes, he is. He's that explains shit. the that explains the chin. He, he's... Oh fuck you! <laughs> Her last dying words are, I really want a fish fillet. Bat, can you get me a fish fillet before I die? This did always make me sad. Mommy didn't have to, his mama didn't have to die like that. That's fucked up, man. She was fucked up. <sighs> you know, uh... There's a weird thing with, with Fist of the North Star deaths where sometimes they feel very earned and sometimes they just feel really cheap. Ah, uh, now he finally yeah, calls him off. Yeah, need, sometimes you just need to get that heat. Even I mean, if no it's not built up a, well. There's no reason why you can't make your own fish fillet type, uh, type burger in Fist of the North Star. There's still fish. I think we should talk about that. The Fist of the North Star world isn't that fucking, de uh, isn't that fucking destroyed. Yeah, but okay, but hold on. How can fish really thrive if there's not a whole lot of fresh water to go around or anything? All right, so the ocean is still exists, and it's not poison. Is he for the shimso? No, he he's pissing. That's right, Ken. Beat the fuck out of that dude who just pissed and pissed after killing a man. Grab him. He's a, in some states, I would make him a sex offender for pissing like in public. Like you say, like sure, you say it's pretty destroyed, but as the as Fist of North Star goes on, it's very clear the Earth is getting better. So like, uh, I mean, like, yeah, it was pretty fucked beforehand, but like, the more it goes on, it's very clear it's not not that fucking bad after a point. I mean, in the final arc, everyone's, like, almost back to a normal level of modernity. No. Because, uh, then that would change the tone of the show. Ken can only get away with kind of- can only get away with certain cool, humiliating ways to kill people. Like hugging it out with your bro and making you fall off a cliff because of it. Or that one time he got a saw and he's like, uh, remember that one guy's about to cut that dude's head off? He's like buried up to his neck in the dirt. He's like, hey, give me that saw. I'll, I, I know how to use that shit, right? <laughs> and he gives the saw to Ken. And then Ken just fucking, he bites. No, is it, what is it? When you go, when you go vertically and slice someone in half, is that vivisection or bisection? Uh, I don't know. I don't know the difference myself. Regardless, he doesn't fully succeed, but the saw goes through that man's fucking... Right from his forehead down to his fucking mouth. <laughs> you know, that brings up an interesting point. There are a lot of... Of all the ways Kenshiro could kill someone, he does do sadistic shit to them. Which everyone know, everyone who knew him before the apocalypse notes is a very disturbing change in his behavior. Um, but he never does anything as bad as the villains in terms of, like, humiliating deaths. Like, he won't do anything weird like rip your dick off in front of you and watch as you bleed to death. Yeah, he's not gonna do a Sonny Chiba on you. Like, there's, there's a, there's like a level of sadism that is allowed. But, like, way more than, way, sometimes it's more than people expect and sometimes it's less than people expect. Because people, people forget that Ken is really not that much of a goody two-shoes. Yeah, and the apocalypse that, changes a man. Uh, yeah, which is the implication of the Kenshi Um, it's this weird thing where, like, he's... So, so much of him has changed, but so much of him hasn't. He just had to adapt to a violent world that he didn't want to be a part of. Uh, yeah, that's a pretty apt description. I am gonna fucking die on this one. So I'm playing this with a fight stick, so my ability to actually... Okay. Wow, I got First that! Try. Oh, nice. What'd you say? First try. 
Also, Rich says, when did people ever think Ken was a goody two shoes? He exposed people. I mean, yeah, but uh, what is this? Well, I think that's different because he's exploding the he's exploding clearly bad people. Yes. And it's um, not like the laws of the world are as they once were. It's now every man for himself. <laughs> and obviously not everyone's gonna be able to fucking protect themselves in this wasteland. Now that I am no longer now, now that I am no longer bound by the laws of this land, I will slaughter you. <laughs> Isn't that not basically the law here? Yeah. Whoa! Nice! God I love this game's art style. Alright. Uh so like in terms of I'm trying to think here. So his personality is based off of Max Rocket Tans Tansky from the Mad Max movies. Um, Who? But Ma that's his full. That's Mad Max's real name, Ro Max Rocket Tans Tansky. Why would you Max just say? What a character! Max what a heel! All right. I don't know if he actually says the line. He's about to kill the dude who, who murdered Bat's mom. All right, so yeah, Jekyll is a bitch. Ah, shit! It's that one level from Streets of Rage. All right, I did not, not even. God damn it! Ooh, okay, I'm. Play the game better. Stop doing a super jump. But I like this jump. It's cool. <laughs> Why did you hit the button? <laughs> There's a delay on his on his kicks. Also, sometimes it lags when I try to move. Alright, bring it on. Woo! Okay, that didn't hit anybody. I feel like a jackass. Right, let's try that again. Yeah, don't die, Kaiju says Rich. Uh, that's my second death. Really? Yeah. It's been so long since we, since the first part of this, so I totally forgot. It was only three weeks ago. How many times do I gotta keep telling you I don't have good memory? How many times I gotta keep telling you that you're not as shit as you think you are? How many times do we have to go go over this lesson, old man? I'm oh, sorry, how many times do we have to keep teaching you this lesson, old man? I love the other people. No, nice! Alright, I'm doing better this time around. I feel like a matador. Some matador I am. I how did I miss? Son of a bitch! Stop getting cornered. Okay, so uh, while well, I'm getting my ass kicked, whoa! You're getting hit in a loop, you cunt. So while I'm getting my ass kicked, this is a good time to mention that uh, um. Tetsuo, uh, or wait, fucking Tetsuo Hara's uh, other manga that he made before Fist in Our Star were various one-offs of different, like, different, different genres of stories. Um, if I can remember correctly, he made a motorcycle, he made a motorcycle racing manga at one point. That was pretty successful. Or moderately successful. I know that when they were re-released, uh, like, they got new art. Yeah, I got. Yeah, he he, he didn't. He did. He does the art that everyone knows him for. And then the and the guy and the main guy looks like Ken, obviously. Yeah, yeah, clearly, obviously, definitely. 
what I was gonna say was, um, yeah, he also still makes art. He has a website that he updates with frequently. He does like traditional art. Um, oh, yeah, sweet. But... It's really, really good. He recently made a drawing of Souther, I think, um, in ink. It looks really good. I, I don't really think he says the line, you call throwing dynamite at a martial art, and he goes, hey, whatever works. Unfortunately, doesn't get that chance. Damn it. Hey. <laughs> What's the fucking point, then? Oh, yeah, I forgot Jackal's where he comes to, he goes to the prison to find this guy. You all know who it is. Jaggy? No. He's gonna say it right now. So the weird thing about this guy is- Pillarman, come to me. Awaken my master. That's it, thank you. Mizutame Wadaruji Tachio! Oh yeah, it's the guy from the intro. Uh, he is implied to be the demon in the original Toei animation in, uh, opening, but they they draw they don't give him distinct features, so he just looks like a like a weird faceless gigantic monster goon yeah. rather than this design. They fixed that in the PS1 opening, uh, which I like because obviously Ken never fights anything this big ever again, so it has to be fucking this guy. Wasn't there some like friendly giant? Yes, but he is not nearly this big. I think Devil's Reverse is implied to be a, a an experimental, an exper a, like a mutated experiment, because mutants do exist in Fist of the North Star. We fight a few of them. Uh, Ken fights a few of them, actually. Um, but this is Devil's Reverse or Devil's Rebirth. I don't. I've never been clear which one is, is consistent. Which one is uh, it? Yeah. That's up to you to decide. Uh, so Jackal's whole thing is he like he knows that this guy was sitting in this ancient prison. Sorry, ancient futuristic. No, not ancient futuristic. It's a I hangar. Mean, He's in a hangar. A, no, it's a prison. It's an actual like futuristic prison. How he found him? How he knew about him? I don't know, but I know why he didn't want him to come in there. Or didn't want to let him out because he's fucking insane, but he's running out of options. So he's like, hey, uh, help your brother out. Come on, help a brother out. Brother. Look at that fucking run cycle. Did you yeah. see it? It's like some something from Worthy Kids. God, I would like a modern game to look like this. I want I want something like this to be done again. But it has to have the texture wobble. If it doesn't have texture wobble, fuck off. I feel like with the advent of something like Guilty Gear Exard, we could have something that looks like this, but animates like that. You know what I mean? Yeah. All right, this is gonna require me to keep doing a bunch of uh, quick time events. Fuck. Uh, is the scene supposed to go this slow? Uh, that might be because of the fact that we are doing this online. Yes or also... no? Answer the question. Uh, I can't remember since the last time I played this, uh, and if you rush me like that again, uh, I'm a smacky boy. I'll smack you so hard you go, you become five nine. <laughs> Who? I'm gonna smack you so hard you go from one to five nine. <laughs> I don't know this reference. There is no reference. I'm gonna smack you so hard you get shorter. Which I'm sure can. Brave done of you to say you can reach me. It has to. It ha there has to be someone he he's made physically shorter. Bad. <laughs> <laughs> no, he gets physically taller. Also, this is one hell of a fucking stadium we're fighting in. Is this Matt Stadium Prince? Is this where he was underneath? Yeah, those uh, those Mr. Metz experiments got pretty buck wild in the 80s. They did whatever they wanted to to win, didn't they? Actually, it's supposed to take place in... Okay, so it's debatable. Um... From what I'm to understand, I think this takes place in the 90s, or it takes place after the 90s, because I know the nuclear event happens in the 90s. Yeah, no, he, Rich brings up an interesting point. We never see a character like Devil's 
reverse or and or rebirth ever again. And it's very early on, which just goes to let goes to show that they kind of like they were they kind of still trying to figure it out. Trying to figure out what constitutes a, a good Hokuto no Ken villain. I know you fight him in the Ryu, uh, Like a Dragon Yakuza uh, game for this the North Star, Lost Paradise. Does he look, still look like this? I think so. I, I, I never, I didn't go to check. I was super hyped about it at first, but then now, as the time goes on, I really just don't have the, the same energy I did to want to go out and check out that game. That's how I feel about Yakuza as a whole, really. I just kind of want to play, like, the first five games and then just kind of dip. Ah, shit! Okay, I'm gonna have to be Oh, God, it's like the second boss in Battletoads are pain. Don't have get wombo you fucking noot! Okay, that's my third death. Mm, but who's if counting? I a, if I die a fourth time, I'm fucked. Okay, apparently Rich says he does look like this in Lost Paradise. Good. Whoa, he's doing Criminal Upper! Holy shit! Who was Criminal Upper again? No, Criminal Upper is that move Cody can do in Street Fighter Alpha 3. That's what I meant. Holy shit! Okay. Whoa, okay! Oh, now I remember. I just have to survive long enough to do Count. Oh, you gotta be fucking kidding me! Nice job, Tony Jabroni. Just keep moving. Woo! This is actually an idea for a boss. Just keep moving! Woo! Don't get hit by Joe's Hurricane Alpha. Okay, ready? Damn it! Damn it. Do it. Okay, even if you miss one, dude, the hits still count. No, you have to hit all seven. Damn, nigga! Alright, this is my fourth death now. Jaggy doesn't come back? I mean, Jaggy doesn't come in a fucking. Why is Jaggy not in fucking. Lost Paradise. He's basically the Majima of, of Bist of North Star. It, it should, instead of Majima everywhere, it's Jaggy everywhere. I would love that so fucking much. You have no idea. He would no, have so Jaggy is not in Lost Paradise, says Rich. Fuck that. I hate that. That's what I'm saying. What character could you, po character could you possibly have that's as iconic? Oh, no, wait. Jaggy is an LP. I mean, Lost Paradise. And he is voiced by Majima. That's right. I read they did Damn. that weird that thing where everyone from the main Yakuza cast voices all the uh, characters. Their respective counterpart that would make sense to be in there. Oh, that was bullshit. Woo! Okay, let's try this again. Alright. Alright, my dick hurt Move, don't stand still. Okay, when he's throwing something, move towards him maybe. Okay. Uh, I think or I'll maybe just do jump. That. Jump! What? Damn son. I Alright. Oh, thank God. I actually, the first time I played this game, it was with a stick, and I had this. Wait, is that gonna be it? it? I had to get the directions down. Yeah, no, he dies from this. <laughs> what a fucking wuss. What You're a giant this? man who gets taken down by one move. Seven hits in the right places. And they're all in the star, uh, the format, the formation of the star. The Big Dipper. Stars. Or the Little Dipster. You know, there was a, there, you could have called it the Fist of the Bear. Wait, it's, it's supposed to be a bear? It's in the, uh, it's part of the, the Big Dipper is a part of the, uh, a part of Ursa, 
I think Ursula Majora? The 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 bear constellation. I could be fucking wrong about how to pronounce it, but it is a part of the actual constellation um, in the sky that's based off of like that big bear and little bear. <laughs> there we go. Thanks, Mac. I figured if someone would know, it would be you. In fact, I was fucking terrified because the first you can, thing I thought was here you can see the little dipster. A big dipster. When I fucking, I was so fucking worried because I, I was like, I, I swear to God, if I get this wrong, I feel like Max is gonna come out and fucking correct me. <laughs> Free action figure. I fucking, I fucking summoned Mac by getting astrology and wrong. <laughs> astrology and animal physiology, or something of that nature. Is it astrology or astronomy? I'm associated with. Astronomy, it, astronomy, astronomy is the study of the stars. Astrology is the study of the star signs. No, he got fucking decimated. Like a cracker in my hand. And that's the end of Jackal. And thus, Fat's mother has been avenged. And a poor, horrible did anything. Been put out of his misery. But Ken, you barely lifted a finger. Did I? Then he disappears like Leonard Nimoy in that one Simpsons episode. It'd be weird to do that. Or it's like, okay, so I feel like people what is it? misunderstand Kenshiro's power and skill. Uh, no, it's the opposite. It's like Ken can only do so much. Uh, and I feel like this, what was it? When he tries to do something and he's just like, "Fuck, I have to walk all the way over there to just to fucking <laughs> just to just to be able to." <laughs> Oh wait, shit, I said no on accident. It's like, uh, whenever he has to go, like, save Ray, uh, he, he, he's like, he's stuck having to walk on his own fucking car. And there's something about that that feels really human, despite how fucking earth-shatteringly powerful he is, where he's like, Yeah, no, I, I can't just fucking teleport over there. The chat is right next to the stream, right? Yeah. For a while, I forget. Pex is just going off about star signs now. Oh, it's Little Dipper is part of Ursa Minor, she said. Oh, uh, shit, you, you hear that xylophone? It's like a, it's like we're watching, the, it's like a, listening to the fucking Star Wars Crusaders soundtrack. Mamiya! Oh, yeah. I was wondering where she was at. She tries her best. Um, I like her design in the manga. Her, her her color scheme's been changed too. She used to have red hair and I think orange and gold, right? Yeah, yeah, she leads the village, and she's got a nice ass. And also, uh, licorice hair herself. It's unfortunate you don't get to play as her. I think. Do you get to Not play as anyone else quote. even? I mean, the mode. Yo! It's my favorite character series! What? Does everyone just have black licorice hair? Oh, hey, Ray. Yeah. I'm shit. I mean, I'm sorry. Hey, shit. Timmy Turner's dad. He's kind of a shithead, but I like Ray, even if he is a fuckhead. So my name is Ray. Have a nice uh, day. Uh, <laughs> I forgot he was voiced by Timmy's dad! <laughs> yeah, that one crappy English stuff like 1999. Oh. I hope Dinkelberg's prepared for when I use Nanto Soicho Ken on him. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> what a cunt. Fucking Dinkelberg. Isn't Dinkelberg's whole thing that he's actually super nice and not a dick? But yeah, Jimmy's it's dead? basically the Homer and Ned Flanders thing. <laughs> but, oh, Ned Flanders is understandably annoying. Like, there's nothing wrong with Dinkelberg. And, like, Timmy's dad's ego is just the problem here. I mean, isn't the same? I mean, the same can amount to Homer and Ned. Ned oh, no. isn't always an asshole. Uh, he's no, just that's a, not an asshole. He's just kind of annoying. I still think that's Bye. not as bad. Uh, he has his moments. Um, it depends on the season, really. Uh, but for the most part, yeah, that's how that is. Also, the Kiva Clan! I like these guys' designs, but they look like they come from a whole lot- They look like they come from fucking Dynasty Warriors or some shit. Fuck. Get fucked. 
What's your favorite gang in Crystal North Star? Because mine is the Kiba gang a lot. I don't really have a favorite gang. They're kind of all interchangeable in me. They are that mm, to an extent. To an extent. You know, it's been a while since I've read anything really Fisted in our star. Is uh, there also, ever a gang based off, I don't know, the fucking anything from like the Warriors? Like, where's my post apocalyptic baseball dudes? I don't know, but you could probably find them. I mean, that's probably a thing. If not Fist of North Star, then something aping its style. And the fact that it apes a lot from pop culture itself. Like how Mad Bull 34 has those fucking hockey, hockey mask wearing skate skaters. Now, now that I think about it, Jackal's gang is literally called the Warriors? Are you kidding me? Are you serious? Oh, really? Oh, wow. I guess we didn't even re remember. Oh, let's see. I mean, recognize. I couldn't, I couldn't read it, but then again, I'm, my Japanese isn't that great. For some reason, it seems to be that the Kiba gang and Ray are, like, like paired together in merchandise and, like, promotional material. At least... Because like, they're, like, the first guys he uses his move on. From what I could remember, anyway. Like, even the fucking Rebel Tech figure for Ray comes with a little Kiba guy that you can, like, slide to imply he's been killed by non Nanto Soichoken. Yeah. Also, he's voiced by Kineto Shiazawa, and I'm just gonna let him say some lines. So, uh... We, of course, know his deal. I liked his silver hair from the anime. Fuck, I had something on the tip of my tongue, but I totally forgot it. Uh, okay, so we know that uh, Akira, uh, Akira Kushida, I mean, the original voice for Ken doesn't do him anymore because the attacking really taking a toll on his voice. Akira Kimi, yeah, yeah. Did, did anything like that happen to anyone else on the cast? Not that I can remember now, because I don't think anyone has a move or cable or like is associated with a specific like thing as much as Ken's uh, 100 crack fist to require that. Yeah, uh, yes. of course, kind of the Shiazawa passed away, so he can't do the role anymore, so someone else does. But I don't remember who does it, or if they even do it as well. There's a thing where, uh, Ray's voice act- yeah, I said that. Did I cut out when I said that? You know, it's just that the stream is always gonna be a few seconds behind, you know that. Alright. Well, the case. How about the voice? So, He's always. I didn't. I didn't really know who was typecast as him or the roles he was typecast into beforehand. But he seems to always do cool and suave characters. Okay, hold on. Look at the fucking ham hocks on that kid's arms. Yeah, he's fucking buff as shit. I was gonna say. Uh, but there is so from time to time the occasional psychotic character he'll voice. Uh, Zato was one of those where he was both. Um, but he also does characters who are in positions of authority and are very commanding. Like in the case of Lakine from Blue Lasner. Uh, you can just look that up after the stream. Oh! He's dead. No, he's. Now you're gonna not. cut off his forearms and cook. Oh, hey, Troy. I think that's supposed to be his. Uh, not his son, hopefully. No, no, I think that's Mamiya's brother, little brother, but I can't remember. Now, speaking of siblings, uh, Ray's whole thing is that he wants to find his sister. I, I think her name is Aidy? Um... But he, he, it's one of those things where it's like, all he has to go off of is like, ah, I was a guy, some, the nigga who took her had, uh, seven scars on his chest. Oh man, That's look the, at this set, look at this, we're on the set of Peely. 
Oh, there's gonna really, there's gonna be a really cool. Uh, look at the moon. There's gonna be a really cool. Like, yeah, like I said, we're on this set of Thunderbolt Fantasy. Hey! Let me say this. We gotta, we gotta do. There's gonna be a cool thing we get to do with Ray and, and, and Ken. A tag team move. No. You'll see. We get to play as Ray. Uh, while you're doing that, could you please look up Ko in From Fist and North Star so I can remember if he was mommy his brother or not? Uh, Ko? How do I spell that? K O U. Okay. All right. Let's see here. Relatives, relatives, relatives. Yeah, that was mom. Mommy is a uh, little brother. Okay, had to check. Had to make sure I was not bullshitting. All right, and you know, he, she, she gets killed obviously because you know. Yeah, the one, uh, psychological warfare. Wanted, uh, wanted to put some scars in her, on her. Ooh. Cry in the night. Cry for the moon! <laughs> this nigga always weirded me out. Kimono-nami-no-chikara-to-speedo-hokoru-madara-no-kogeki-o-kawase-ru-ka-na? <laughs> I'm gonna get that little nigga real quick. Alright, I'm gonna. I'm not gonna let up! I wanna guess he's not. Oh, sh okay! As soon as I stop blocking. Alright, I'm just gonna beat this guy up real quick. What the hell is he doing? There it is. God, I what they do with the models. It's so fucking cool. It helps that they're all fucking... It's they're it's that old style of modeling where everything is technically not connected. So you can okay. manipulate the Z-axis and whatnots more. Thanks, Mac, for the information on the Big Dipper and the Little Dipper. <laughs> the Big Dipster or the Little Dipster. Is that, is that a reference to Tim and Eric? Yes, it was their, uh, they did, like, I guess, a Cosmos parody. Like, the universe. What a concept. You know, you don't want to put the universe in a tube. It's going to be a very long tube. And it's like a hot dog. I do this every night with your son. Alright, so, uh, I always found it weird that there, that there were characters in Fist of North Star who had freakish bodies, but, but weren't mutants. That that was just the, the story. They was were like, just no. cursed by God to look this distorted. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like the, it's like you couldn't have said they were mutants. They, they, you know, I'll give Fist of North Star this. Never at any point did, is there a character who's like, I got my powers from nuclear radiation. Yeah, it's, that's a cop out. It's like, no, no, no. I was no. just born a freak, you asshole. Thanks for asking. It's like, uh, either you were fucking uh, modified in a lab, you were born that way. Or you just really or, like to work out, and you did, or, not, yeah. and you did not care to spread out the leg day between the work day, and Maybe now you look you like Giant Bob. As far as I know, there was no instance of like nuclear radiation giving someone powers. If anything, it just gives you cancer in this or just straight Accurate. killed you right there. Accurate. <laughs> Alright. So, who do we pick? Ray, let's mix it up. Ray. That's what I did when I first played this. Alright. So, um, there's a twist to this. But you'll find out what it is later on. Do you remember how this arc ends? Oh, is this going to be a what-if scenario? Uh, it's... Not quite, but for everyone who who remembers this arc, uh, who hasn't, who doesn't know what's coming up, yeah, you, you, you might see where this is going. Uh, so let's pick Ray because I love him so much. 
And he does play differently. Not too different. Did you say I'll kill you in 10 seconds? Shit. My Japanese isn't that good. Get out the timer. I'm not that good yet. So yeah, let's, let's, let's experiment with some of the cool things he does. He has his own little uh, finishing line too. Just exploded that midget. What are you doing the swan dive shit? Swan dive over the turnbuckle! Off Brett's row. You don't got that spinny uppercut. Oh, he has a cool dash. Has. And a cool dodge, too. Yeah, look at him. Look at him go. Yeah, so these little guys come in. Uh, only one of these little guys comes in a in like pack for him, to, uh, for him to use as an accessory in the Rebel Tech figure, which is weird to me. It's kind of like how someone bothered to make a Rebel Tech figure for Kokuo, Rao's horse, but... to be used for the Rebel Tech. Oh. And it's ornate as fuck, but it's massive because it has to be to accommodate the figure and also oh. to, to actually be rideable. Yeah, it's like, holy shit, that is not, that is not inexpensive. Why would you do this? Because they know how. That's the thing with this North Star. It is marketed to all high hell. If you hell think yeah. it, there exists a Fist of North Star product. You know, there's a fucking there was a fucking antivirus that was themed to Fist of the North Star. Good. Did you know that there's a condom brand for Fist of the North Star? No, but that does not surprise me. All right, all right. What do you think Ken is? Ken is on the tip. Ken is, no, 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 I don't understand. You get the characters in sizes. Oh, uh, is Rao <laughs> ribbed for her pleasure? Rao is extra large. What, not Kokoro? <laughs> not Co no, not the horse, not the horse. What's wrong with you? Look at the little fuck horses. No. <laughs> Maybe it was like a horse man, maybe, maybe. All right, where does, where is Ken Shiro on the dick scale? Normal. What? Normal. Really? Where is normal? <laughs> right, and where's Joggy? Is he extra small or whatever? I think Toki, no, he's not even on there. <laughs> what, Toki doesn't have a condom? He should be, he's no, the no, healer. Like, Toki's small, Toki's small. I thought he said Joggy. Joggy should be small. Joggy should be raw. <laughs> Oh, the manga, this, this game is fucking great. <laughs> Alright, so this is where the leader of the ga Kiba gang. Oh my god, that's the guy who's voiced by fucking... Uh, oh my god. Uh, voice actor for Shredder. Uncle Phil. What is his name? We, we said it last stream. Uh... You mean in the dub? Yes! Uncle Phil! What is Uncle Phil's actor? His actor's uh, name? James Avery! James Avery, yes! He is voiced by James Avery for the movie. Alright, so there's Idy. Well, just like how uh, Brian Cranston voiced Faye Long in the Street Fighter movie. I think they changed around some things. In the original, in, in the movie, Jockey says it, the only way you're getting Airi is if you fucking, is if, uh, is if, um, I forget Jockey's introduction in the manga and, like, his connection to Ray, but I remember he specifically says something along the lines of, you've got to kill Ken, you want your sister back. But instead, it's the Kiba guy leading, uh, who, who does it in this game. Well, I have to go back, excuse me, I have to go back and see how, how this plays out in the manga. This reminds me of, like, of all the problems I have with Fist of the North Star, it does, the when it's really good, it's really fucking good. Especially when it does drama really well. Hmm. Like, I can get why Kent, why, uh, oh, she, she uh, so Airi is blind. Of course. <laughs> uh, no, I, I think, yeah, she, I don't know if she was born blind, but 
Uh, she's kind of just been uh, traded from guy to guy after being sold into slavery. Oh no! And Ray's, Ray's been looking for her ever since after the apocalypse. But the the person who sold her into slavery is Juggy. What a heel! <laughs> Juggy is so. We'll talk about him later. Holy fuck! He doesn't feel in this, right? He do, yeah, of course, of course. Like he's like my. He's, yes. He's gotta be my favorite villain. She was blinded because all the horrible shit done to her, Rich. Oh, yeah. Yeah, she, trauma. She, she's blind because of trauma. Which I, I think is. I, I think that's actually a real thing that happens to people. Sometimes they, something like that can happen. If you've just been so traumatized, sometimes you can just become permanently mute or something like that. So it's happened. So, but I don't think it's quite to the extent that Hokuto no Ken draws it out to be. Well, I mean, of course, it's a comic. It's gonna... You exaggerate. say that, but there are shit in comic books that real life outdoes in terms of silly bullshit. Yeah, like yesterday. Yeah, like yesterday. We were watching the episode from the Dogs with Napoli, and everyone, everyone watching it was like, I, I what can't What were you watching? It. The Boondocks, the episode where they try to kidnap Oprah. And oh, they were, yeah. Like, we're, we were just sitting there going. Charlie Ooh. Murphy and uh, Samuel Jackson. Jackson. Those white white Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and the, the thing we were talking about is how real life, literally yesterday, basically fucking outdid this episode about Oprah. God damn. <laughs> I am tearing, I am tearing his ass. Alright, so we have to fight. So we have to fight You missed one, you tit! It's okay, it doesn't matter. So to get health back, you can He's stuff gotta like that. do the moves. Yeah, do those moves, yeah. So, it's, so if you played as Ken, you'd have had to fight... Uh... Ray. Which is what I prefer doing, because like... It's just neat to me, to... Uh, quick sidebar. Rich says Boondocks walked so real life could run. <laughs> yeah, honestly. I remember there's bits in the, the, the interviews with Aaron McGrew where he talked about the character Uncle Ruckus and he's like, he's like, it fucked me up because I was like, because at first when I came up with the character, like, nothing like that actually existed in real life. But then, pe then there were people who were actually, who actually acted like him. <laughs> And acted even worse! Jeez. So real life caught up with the boondocks really fast! He needs that therapy for, for either. Oh slash. man. God damn it, Mac! <laughs> you know what I just realized what the color of Ray's suit and this reminds me of? Chief Arino. You're right, oh god. Watch this. I know it's the Tiger Kanji. All right, I guess Ken's dead. Welcome to the Ray Show. I would, I would not have minded. That's how the story would play out with Ray being the protagonist. But like, Ken's a good boy. He, he, he's, he's interesting on his own. I think the interesting thing about Fist and North, powerful character, I could, me personally anyway, could be able to find other characters just as interesting as him even when the show wasn't focused on him. Because that was a problem with a lot of stuff. That's why I don't like parts of Berserk that don't focus on Guts, because he's way more interesting than everyone else. Hmm. Where it's like, all right, this guy is clearly better than better written than anyone else. Why would I not focus on him? I have that problem with Chainsaw Man. I don't give a fuck about anybody but Denji. I don't care about Chainsaw Man. I got Sea Tiger instead. Yeah, I know, but like, if you... <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if Sea Tiger's also the most interesting character in that story. <laughs> I mean... Because it seems like he is. 
But that's beside the point. We're focusing there on is, the but there's a lot of drama, especially in the sequels. But actually, now that we're talking about it, this is Star probably had a, had definitely had a huge influence on CJ. Oh yeah, I remember re looking through something one of the authors did, and they were like, I, I recognize the Chinese name for Fist of the North Star, which has like a different character to represent of. And I was like, oh, I guess they really like Fist of the North Star, which explains why almost everyone in the story is like super jacked and brawlic. Why they all know it's incredible kung fu. Mm -hmm. Do you... Do you think people harp on the on like the aesthetic of those manga and anime from that era more so than like American comic books? Here, because I mean, like we I had something that... like that in the nineties when it was all big guns and shit. Because I don't, because I've never heard anyone refer to that style. Uh, because as much as uh, I've heard people say they like that style a lot, I've heard like the way certain people talk about it, it is brought up as if it's like oh. That was such a quaint time in our lives when we did that. And I'm like, mm, I don't know. Just... I never heard anyone say. It. Well, again, I'm saying this from the point of like '90s comics, since that was kind of like the one of the bigger eras where everyone just agrees was not very good artistically speaking. So this was all edge all the time. Oh yeah, I forgot. Fucking, there's way more critics of stuff like Bob Liefeld art and stuff in the, uh, and Todd McFarlane art in the '90s than like you know with the pouch pouches and multiple guns and shit and like. At least Rob Liefeld owned it. You see his character, The Pouch? Yeah. It's literally a guy made of pouches with a pouch gun. Yeah. Oh yeah, this guy is using that uh, that art, that, that that martial art from uh, uh, Congo Bancho. You know the one. Oh yeah, where he hardens his skin. Yeah. I need to reread Congo Bancho. Congo Bancho looks so fucking good, it makes me so sad that... Uh, uh, Suzuki deadly. Nakanaba went on to do the Seven Deadly Sins, which is like, way inferior. Way weaker, god damn it! It's, it's weaker, and it's the one that's the one. It, it's not only is it weaker, but this is the one that event goes stateside and gets super big. Uh, Fuck off. Why did that get the Netflix adaptation, god fucking damn it? Netflix You're adaptation, killing. shitty console game, mobile game. This kills me! This kills the man! Do you know how much- Ah. Uh, okay, so, alright. The fucking scene where he breaks through the fucking Yakuza guy's house because they fucked up- With a car on his shoulder. Yeah, because they fucked up the little girl's drawing is what the best first chapter I've seen in a manga, uh, for that kind of manga in a while. Holy shit, it was so fucking- Oh yeah, I forgot. I forgot how to fight this guy. Oh, okay. There we go, you gotta, you gotta hit it from the back. <laughs> Final. Finally! The rock has hit it from the back of the, the back! Oh yeah, he even moves slowly so you have to, like, so you get the idea that you're supposed to hit him in the back anyway. Let him lunge at you first. Oh yeah, you're fair. Fair, fair, fair. Go, go, go! <laughs> that fucking died! Look <laughs> E-Honda! Alright, I'm gonna get up slowly so you can just lunge at you. Go! Shit. Okay. All right. Try jumping it. Oh yeah, you're right. I have this one. How did I? That's not where I wanted the tech to go. But... You're killing me. You know, I'm thinking about it. And I kind of wish that there were more clever fights in Fist of the North Star. Because Ken really doesn't have to think that tactically about how he approaches the Eh, that's the point. It, I mean, it, and like, it's it kind of core holds itself into being uh, someone looking for formulaic. Yeah, and like, and the thing is, your story does not get weaker because your character has to think more on the fly. Far from it. That's why things like the real robot series for mechs, uh, for things like Gundam uh, and, and the like, have like a lot of really interesting and memorable ba battles people My have. Skin by Agra. It's wearing off. <laughs> no. Oh no! Uh, like, there's, there's situations where people were definitely clearly trying to... Uh, there's situations where people were trying their best to, uh, make a, like, like, 
make a story that is mm, more depth. Character. Yeah, yeah. Well, you make a, a story where your character has to think more and more outside the box for certain things. There's nothing wrong with a battle sometimes. In case of like, I'm just gonna do my finishing attack and that's it. Fuck it. Especially if it's like a joke scenario. Also, Mac, I, I didn't really mean. Uh, I wasn't talking about Jap Japanese or I wasn't talking about manga uh, from the '80s from the perspective of uh, Japanese, uh, a Japanese or Chinese audience. I was just talking about uh, people in the West uh, and their perception of it. Although I would like to know that as well, as uh, as I get better at learning Japanese, I want to go out of my way to like find out more and more about how people feel. About Things like this in our star Dragon Ball, and so on in their own country, uh, instead of just hearing it secondhand or thirdhand. Damn, look at her ass. Everyone has a nice ass in this. I don't know, Rain kind of looking kind of flat. <laughs> but it got nice moves though. Look at this. Look at the angle of that peck. You could cut a piece of steak with that. Oh my god, <laughs> that's chisel. Holy shit. Chiseled like those stone slabs they inscribed the entirety of the North Star onto. That's fair enough. Uh, so, uh, there's a guy named Hypervid Hero who's. Uh, oh, wait, no. Fuck, I've already mentioned before he was in the previous video. Uh, he, he made a video about this, and so I found this from, in the first place. He made, he made a very good point about. Like, clearly it was a problem with how the fights were going with Ken because. At some point, they started introducing characters who fucking use the same martial art as him because it's just that fucking powerful. And I'm like, all right, fair enough. But it's not like it didn't have to. It, you could have, you could have that clearly because like characters like Rao and Jaggi are great for that. But like their fights could have had more going for them aside from just I'm gonna use my aura uh, to uh, break your balls, Ken. Get ready. Or in the case of Jaggi, I'm just gonna fucking cheat. I love this. Uh, what is it? Ray's basically going, You're such a Chad Ken, I'm not even. <laughs> I'm not even gonna let, I'm gonna, I'm gonna let you fuck my sister. No! <laughs> He's like, I'm gonna let the thing slide because I. There's a. I know you can't be the man who who did this to. Uh, I, I know you can't be the man who fucked over, fucked over my entire life. Wait, did he just go shirtless all of a sudden? Yeah, just show him about just show him the seven scars. Yeah, sure. He just wanted to show him the seven scars. He wanted to show off. Uh, but he's like, all right, cool. Um, this is the part where this is the part that focuses on Jaggi, and Ken's like thinking to himself, huh? Wait a minute. Yeah, where is that little asshole? And then he's like, Where's that where? little bitch? He's like, you know, I never actually did see any of my family die. I wonder what they were doing. I wonder if they survived. Ew, what is with the vest? I, it's it's not the right color for me. I don't like it. I don't, I don't like, like it. it. I don't like it. Should be see. It needs to be fucking all blue. Okay, this sound weird, but he looks like a like a lame minor villain in JoJo now. <laughs> he looks like a beat him up drone. Next to his boys, also beat him up drones from fucking Violent Storm. <sighs> no, those sprites from Shimagami Tensei <laughs> in the background. Those aren't even polygons. Oh shit, this is the Saw dude. I think. This obviously has elements of the movie also incorporated into it as well. But yeah, here's Jockey, my favorite villain in who had a fucking amazing prequel story. He's great. He's so fucking good. He's a perfect antithesis to Ken. I like him more than Rao, but Rao is also fucking cool. S tier villains for me. Even if they uh, do get on the simplistic side a little bit. I mean, Ra Juggy has more going for him on the like. Is that Kyle? On the pathetic side. Oh my god, it is fucking Kyle. Is that Stan? <laughs> so, uh, so he picks on these two brothers because you know he fucking hates siblings because he projects. And hey, look, it's the old man from Crisis Young. It is. 
There's the SMT sprites. More SMT sprites in the background. But yeah, no, this is... He does look like Young Ash when he's the fuck? Mm, Amoeba is Melly's favorite ho- don't know- Character? Yeah, they even made a crazy Mugen edit. Nice! I want to talk to her about that. I think we should be good for tomorrow. <laughs> and Grandpa's dead. I've right in front of the sprites, too. Have you actually read Jockey Gaiden Prince? No. Yeah, it's really good. I um, haven't read a lot of this in our star in years, honestly. That, that is fine. That is understandable. Uh, so, uh... <sighs> Alright, so, depending on how it was framed, there are two ways to do it. At this point in the story, Ken didn't have a family because they didn't have that yet. Um, and the other idea is that, like, they would have talked about the family. Um, when Jaggi comes up, but he wouldn't have had other brothers. But it's not very clear um, where they were going with that based on the way, like, the brothers are foreshadowed, either in the anime or because there's a certain thing that happens in the Jaggi fight where he goes, ah, but the other brothers are. He says it in the. at it. Ah, yes, but there are other Saiyans like me who will come to Earth. So, uh, depending on how things might have maybe Doki would have been a villain, um, with the, you know, what is, as what is implied with, uh, Amoeba. Well, well, let's see how it goes. Um, or, no, nah, sorry, what I meant to say is, uh, but let's talk about that as, as we come to it. Right now, we focus on Jagi being a shit, and Ken getting, uh, killing him in order to, uh, avenge, uh, or not avenge, but make things right with Rei. So, uh, he tied a cinder block to this fucking kid and told him to fucking walk out of the desert. Now, because this is a PS1 game, it can't do the thing where it zooms out to show how far the kid walked out. But in the manga and in the anime, uh, it fucking- it does a long zoom out and it shows the motherfucker was- He- He was trekking. My boy was going. Yeah, well, time to go send my brother to hell. Oh, yeah, there's this fucking thing. In the movie, this is a little different because, you know, the pacing's faster. The build up to this is, uh, it's a bit interesting uh, over the course of, like, the manga and anime. Oh, my like, God. They build up the appearance for him. This is going to be a me reference, but it looks like they're wearing the armor Zeus wore in No Holds Barred. <laughs> if anyone knows that reference. I thought you were going to mention World Heroes, but we'll get to that with Marasha's up in Cellar. SMT sprites are there, too. Yeah, there you go. That's going to hit you when, if I ever show you SMT. No, I've seen the SMT sprites. I know people who like SMT. Oh, good. Thank God. But I meant, like, uh, in, in the part where they have the, the first apocalypse. Because in the first SMT game, there's a, they have a double apocalypse. <laughs> Christ alive, one wasn't bad enough. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> God damn! Not even Hope Don't Know Ken has another of Could you imagine? Yeah, this is they kind of the, 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 yeah, they would need some, so many people just to have oh my God. sex to uh, why, did you this, why does he remind me of the Shogun of the Road from Last Dragon and also the Samurai from Samurai Jack? Is it the way he moves? Definitely not the face. Jaggy's got a real thumb head, huh? Alright, so there's this thing Jaggy would do where he would say, say my name, and I forget how it but I think he's, he, but like, Jaggy would do this thing where he'd say he was Kentido and put full seven scars on his chest. Which I can't help but love. Because it's like, wow, you were that petty, huh? You... I 
can't destroy the statue, unfortunately. At least I don't. Uh oh, Legion of Doom. And Scorpion in the background. He looks more like the Ranger from Quake. Without his helmet. I like what I said better. Good. Because so we already made a Quake joke. And I, <laughs> I remember my Quake joke. We were like, what if the Ranger tries to use a rocket launcher on. Okay. <laughs> There's no collectibles, no weapons to pick up, nothing. Not that Ken used that very often anyway. Well, no, he had the nunchucks. Which he Fellow used. chucker, eh? Fellow <laughs> chucker. Oh, I timed that right. Uh oh, by Frosty says double apocalypse. Can Shiron Bat finally discover the ocean only for Zambot 3 and a mecha boost to show up? <laughs> no! <laughs> God, that fucking show got so fucking unnecessary about the times. Not unnecessarily, it was just like, God. You think a show that as cute as Zambot 3 looks, or, or as cartoony, would not have human suicide bombs. Dear fuck. <laughs> look, at me, look at me squirming away. It looked like a tail. I think that was on purpose. Yeah, it totally looks. looks. Oh! <laughs> the way he smiled! Uh, I think he just got hit with Kenshiro's lasso of truth, so he's just spilling the beans. I guess that I guess that was what went, I guess that is what happened. Got my Z axis. If you said something like it hurts, can't remember quite. Again, not good at Japanese, only barely, barely even a fraction. I know one one hundredth of what I need to know. No, one one thousandth. Yeah, well, you need to get better so we can read Cantonese. I know 1% of 1%. It's the opposite of Toguro. Toguro, Toguro from fucking uh, Yu Yu Hakusho, where he has 100% of 100%. And gives him those fucked up muscles. I know that's how, that's how almost anyone remembers from that. His weird extra muscular body with the meat ring around his neck. Uh, oh yeah, Toguro. <laughs> when he bulks up. He is kinda like Rowan, in that both of them insist on being brutal as fuck, and that's their that's their skill. 120%. No no, hundred hundred percent of hundred percent is what he says when he No, apparently the the whole percentage thing was kind of a translation error. Oh, really? I believe so. I remember reading something and saying, yeah, it's not supposed to be 100%, it's supposed to be something else. But 100% makes it sound better or something. Alright. Oh, I forgot about this! So time. why did Kyle shoot him again? Oh, uh, he, uh, he blames him for what happened to his brother. God damn, when are we gonna hit a fucking save screen? I'm actually getting tired. It's a very long arc, and not being able to skip cutscenes is kind of a huge part of it, but that just means we can talk over it because we already know what's gonna happen. Like I said before. So, yeah! Uh, favorite colors. I found out Joggy's helmet is based on something that's not that violent. No, not, not sorry, not that violent. Um, quick, look it up on the wiki. The name of it. It was based off of Lord Humongous' helmet or something. No, no, it's based off of an, uh, another thing. That's... Also, Lord Humongous' helmet doesn't look like that at all. It's a hockey mask, remember? I think it's on the trivia section. 
Oh, saw right, man. it was uh, based off of something from Sukuban Deco. Really? Yeah, we still need to watch that. I forgot there's like a girl who just has like this big metal mask for whatever reason. Yeah, uh, how close does it look, Prince? Uh, not exactly similar, but they do have a very similar grill. Like mouthpiece. Nice. Also, he might have gotten his What's My Name line from Muhammad Ali. Understandable. As he yelled that at Ernie Terrell. Gotcha, bitch. Get some help back. Nice! Yeah, you can start, kind of start to see where the gold and silver came from. God hand, those two effeminate gay men who are bosses. <laughs> A lot of homoeroticism in this. Yeah, a so, uh, gay tension. Some gay tension. So, cool, so the interesting thing about Ken's violent personality that even Joggy makes a note of, where he's like, what the fuck, you were never like that. Um, <laughs> yeah, Ken's like, well, people fucked around and they found out. Okay, so he wasn't always as violent, but I like how they tied in his actions uh, from before the apocalypse to this, where Ken's mercy is what's caused so many people's pain. Um, and him not killing Joggy when he should have, um, is what's resulting in all the pain now. That's a very interesting thing to do with an art. Mm. Hey, this is his stage in the fucking fighting game. And the crappy Musou game. Ah, uh, yes. But, um, his sadistic personality, or, the, like, the sadistic shit Ken does to people is, of course, a reference to, like, Max, Mad Max. Max in the first Mad Max movie, because he didn't do that much fucked up shit to people in later movies. He just kind of killed them. Often in violent ways, yeah, but, like, there's that scene towards the end where, which actually inspired the entire Saw franchise, where the main villain basically gets... Um, him into, like, a giant death trap? Yeah, he, he gets into a death trap, and the only way he gets out is if he solves his uh, body part off. That's how he escapes. Of course, he doesn't make it in time, but still. He just leaves him like that, which is, you know, kind of different from how Ken does it, because when Ken kills someone with Oh, well, he just takes it off right away. Because right, right. Uh, when Ken hits someone with Hokuto Shinken, they're gonna die. There's no way they can escape it. Where, as in Mad Max, it was more chilling because it gave the illusion that you could escape. And that was what was more terrifying. Maybe. That's subjective in certain instances. It, it, me, personally. I like that aspect a little bit more for that, but that was definitely more something to be used at the end of a movie for a climax. Or something like Fist of the North Star. That's a cool finisher for your fights, for your fighting manga. It's nice. It's good punctuation to a very clever, to a very clever sentence that is typed out. Ooh, clever dialogue and, oh, not, no, sorry, good dialogue and really good action. What's that fucking line uh, in Kung, in action movies? Uh, good action is dialogue, good dialogue, or good storytelling. And I feel like, ah, Fist North Star does that too. Oh, I forgot about that! He's like, yeah, I'm gonna set this bitch all on fire. That shouldn't be how that works, right? Like, you can't just hit something full of oil and expect it to ignite, right? Realistically speaking, yeah. Okay, like, I had there might be a, like, I, I mean, a spark might do something, but I think you need to do more than just shoot at it. What if you, yeah, what if you look at his, at his bullets and it's like the fire bullets from Metal Slug? <laughs> so, the, the versus game mode of this definitely uh, served as the template for the boss fights. Because they're structured the exact same way. Mm. So this fight is a little underwhelming because um, as Kenshiro fights with Joggy, at least in the movie, the fight takes a while to build up. 
um, to here. Like, he fights him all the way, he chases him all the way to the and then it falls down and it's like, oh shit, here we go. <laughs> and a yeah, fork for fun. you. You're yeah, done. Something to ignite it. It would have been really cool if Javi shot the tower and then pulled out a lighter and just fucking uh, flicked it right at the flat fire. Just like, BAM! I wanted to up the atmosphere, that's why. There's ways to do that, obviously. Could have had a stick of dynamite on him or a grenade. You're a punk bitch, Jaggy. It's like, ha! Not my fault. Uh, in Jaggy Guy, there we could. Um, they don't make him more sympathetic. They just you just see another side of him that makes it unfortunate that it had to lead to this. So, okay, well, no, that is sympathetic. What the fuck? What, what's the best way to put this? Jaggy Gaiden doesn't make him like, oh man, I feel sorry for Jaggy. It's, they just show him as the asshole he is. They show him as the asshole he is, but they make it very clear that it's like a. He feels neglected. He feels, it's like they made him feel more human instead of just like a complete and utter monster. Hmm. It's like that thing in Treasure Island where like, you know how you, you know how Long John Silver in that is the villain, but like befriended uh, Jim? Mm -hmm. It's like that, like Long John Silver is, is the like merciless pirate bastard that he is, but he's so a good friend. Like nothing, like, he didn't switch to another side, that's just Yeah, that's why he's like that. That's why he liked that. Yeah. That's why he liked that. There we go, now we're at the part where you fight Jaggy again. They don't do the flashback or show him anything at all in the PS uh, one game to show him like saying like I'm the one who made Shin kill Yuria. No, I'm the one who made Shin uh, try to kill you and take Yuria. It was me! So let's, talk about, stinker. so let's talk about Jaggi's influence. He is, the, he is the closest thing to the main antagonist. Because he sets so much shit in motion. He's the reason why Shin kidnaps Yuria. He's the reason why Airi was sold as a slave. Uh, he fucking goes around terrorizing people, uh, framing Kenshiro for crimes he didn't commit. Oh shit, there's his moves. Get fucked, shit lips. Oh! <laughs> Damn, dude. I, I gotta know if there's. Oh god, a doing the Tekken stage scroll thing. It's fucking me up. I, I gotta know. Although, unlike the earlier Tekken games, it's actually. Yeah, it's uh, actually 3D and not just like a texture. You're not, I'm, I'm not locked. So the, I have to fucking know if there's more to the juggling system than me. Yeah. Yeah. Shit! I timed it wrong! Yo! That's sick as fuck! The size of that, though. Go! Get him! Oh, you cut. Right, I'm gonna set this up. Goodbye. Put hot dog in the grandstand and just do it. Look at that! Goodbye, motherfucker. I would recommend to all of you, out of all the prequels, to, to read... Jaggy um, Gaiden. Jaggy Gaiden. It is very good, and very good supplementary material for the first, for the first major half of Hope Dono Ken. Yeah, I think he said like that was for Shin. That's also for Yudia. This one's for Kyle. He technically he, he says you're you're correct. Actually, he does technically say that. Wow. Not Kyle, obviously. He's like this little dumb fucker. Have fun with that so in your heart. So. Oh, I'm 
God, his face is not like good. You know, I'm surprised he doesn't cry for Johnny. No, Bison, we were making fun of the fact that one of the kids looked like Kyle from South Park. Although, if you wanted to do that for the brother dynamic for the four brothers, you could certainly make those jokes. <laughs> I guess we could. Uh, Kenny is Toki. Uh, <laughs> Kenjiro is Stan. Kenjiro is Stan. Rao is Cartman. Oh, is it Jackie Cartman? No, I'd say Rao is Cartman. I don't know. Jackie's kind of a shit like Cartman. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, that but one. Rao. Here's the thing Jackie's an asshole. But Cartman is way, way worse. Some of the shit he has done would be Rao level of evil. Like, you know, fucking cooking some kids' parents into chili, uh, uh, getting yeah, all the gingers hey, to kidnap folks. Fuck's sake. Yeah, let's not talk about soft work. What are we doing? Fuck, fuck, God damn it. But yeah, That's Jackie, not us. Shaggy got fucking decimated. It looked especially brutal. All right, save this so I can go to sleep. I don't know why it looked, it, I don't know what it was. I guess it was the way his face looked, especially with like the brace on it. Oh yeah, you can now play as those characters in the versus mode. Awesome. Which we should play after this. Uh, we'll after see. We All right, we're gonna call it there though. Oh hell yeah, brother. Well, we're back, we're baby. We're back in a bar. <laughs> awesome. And we'll see you tomorrow for something, I guess. Yeah, I've like been Eric. Uh, I am eight star and Kai Star Kaiji. This is one of the best manga of all, of all goddamn time. Go and we'll see you tomorrow. Stay at safe, y'all. We'll see you at the back hack later.